Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Sundering Tarot. If you're new here, hi, hello, and welcome. This is your daily tarot reading for the 2nd of August, 2024. We'll be using the Stardust Wanderer Tarot for today's daily tarot reading. There'll be a list in the description box down below. Anyway, let us get started. Alright my lovelies, all your cards are on the table. We have five major arcanas. Um, and we have two synchronicities. We have 555 five, five and 666 six, six showing up for you. So um, lots of temporary opportunities, changes, etc. Um, things in flux. Anyway, the best part of your day. We start off with the Six of Cups. Followed by the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Followed by the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. The Seven of Wands. And the Four of Cups in the reverse. Hmm. It's interesting. Um, <laughs> it's funny. It's like whatever the situation is, um, you've made a decision and All the fight, all the changes that are necessary just kind of um, happen naturally. What needs to be released, what needs to be changed just kind of falls away on its own without you even thinking about it. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so probably some... Um, freer energy like that of the past whether this is a relationship or a situation it just naturally falls away and that for me tells me that you've either a done the work behind the scenes that you've understood something or um b you've made a a, a choice and you're you're literally sticking to it so there's no real doubt or a question of what you need to do or what you should do. You just do it. Um, anyway, the worst part of your day. We have death in the reverse. Justice in the reverse. And the lovers. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, the downside is uh, you could end up replaying a situation. Um, why? Because you're still beholden to it. You're still connected to it in the same way. You're not changing anything. Um, and it may not actually be a situation or a relationship that actually gives you what you need. <laughs> okay. So something actually does have the potential to play out the way it normally does. This is why I, I think this is a repeat situation or, or something that has happened often enough that it's kind of predictable and we're needing to change it. Downside, it could repeat. Upside, best part of your day, it looks like that naturally falls away. It, it eases on its own. Um, so let's jump into our obstacle or how to get over our obstacle because that probably has our answer as to how we get from point A to point B. We have the Six of Pentacles, followed by the Two of Pentacles, the Magician, the Eight of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Swords. The Hermit in the reverse. The Five of Wands in the reverse. And the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. This is you actually assessing the situation and, and realizing, okay, what's it worth to me? The back and forth, the give, the take. Um, you know, is this truly worth it the way it is 
Is it worth it if we make it better? Is it worth it if we disconnect? Um, and this is what you've been juggling. These are your choices. These are your options that you're looking at. And it's all to uh, pretty much revamp the situation of, okay, how do I breathe new life into this relationship? How do I make sure this friendship will be the way it is? How do I make sure this scenario does not repeat? How can we create a, a new avenue that works in our favor? And it's through this rumination, this mulling this over, you realize what actually needs to go. What needs to fall away? And it's all based on this um, effort, investment, and what you get out of it. Especially in areas where things aren't right. Whether that's somebody taking too much or somebody overstepping boundaries. Uh, and I say that because we have the hermit hair in the reverse, which means we are not basically solitary. So this is either with a uh, one-on-one -on -one time with one other person or in a group of people, like a family setting, a work setting. And you realizing why you need to leave that because uh, when it comes to conflict, the potential is really bad. In other words, you end up giving too much. People end up taking too much. It's an imbalanced situation and it probably throws you way out of alignment. Hence, this is why we start off with the Six of Pentacles is, okay, how do we correct this? How do we get this to where all parties involved will be happy? And it's funny because it's not like you're necessarily playing the peacekeeper of the group. You're just protecting yourself, your own energy. Uh, minding your own boundaries, making it to where something is sustainable, <laughs> whether that's the situation or the relationship itself. Um, and, and this is what you're out to create. Okay. Now, if we ask the right questions, we actually take the time to look at it, see all our choices, all the potentials, and where it is worth us to invest properly, that's how we're going to actually get to that spot where when it comes right down to it, we've already made that decision, we've already realized what we needed, what we wanted, and what needs to shift, what needs to change automatically happens, and it happens effortlessly. It's like the issue gets released um, in a way that's kind of like breathing. It just happens naturally. Why? Because you made the choice already. You already knew what you wanted. You already knew what you needed. Um, and you stuck to the choice. There was no doubt. There was no question uh, about it. Okay, so if you waver a little bit, maybe you're going to end up with the worst part of your day. Something is going to repeat because you're not sticking to your guns or you're too wishy-washy. Um, so be aware of energy that might come off as um, potentially flaky in the situation. <laughs> yeah, that may not turn out too well. Um, anyway, I did add up all your cards. Everything here adds up to an even 100, believe it or not, which also reduces to 1, which is... The uh, number of the magician, which we have right here, or also known as the pioneer. Yeah, you're creating a way forward. One that is more beneficial to all. And I say to all, not just to you, because it, this is involving other um, persons or parties. But you're wanting to be everything reciprocal. More in alignment. So whether that means... A uh, new element has influxed the group, maybe a new person, um, a new scenario, things that got thrown out of whack, what have you. Um, and you're just contending with it. Hmm. 
Okay. Let's toggle over to the astrology. Venus and Leo squares Uranus and Taurus. Yeah, one of your relationships might be ongoing, undergoing some difficult changes or unexpected developments. This can be difficult. Try to be flexible and open. In this case, this is you being a little bit more um, uh, flexible. You trying to bring an element of balance to the situation. Not that you're trying to play peacekeeper. You're just trying to make sure things are reciprocal and in alignment. Okay. All right, my loves, I'm going to go ahead and stop babbling. I'm going to leave this here. If it resonates for you, by all means, give me a thumbs up. And if it doesn't, don't worry. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.